people are, are in freeze mode. And we keep saying that you're gonna have to work five to 10 times harder than you did two years ago to make the same transaction happen. Here's how you minimize that. By, by one, you gotta take massive action. But two, you've gotta be on the lookout for how to continually improve your effectiveness, improve your skills. Does that track? Yeah, how much time are we spending with our clients and drawing them out? Sometimes, and especially now, with the concerns about interest rates, with the concerns about housing, housing prices, housing availability, with concerns about the economy, with concerns about the election, people are, are in freeze mode. So just like you wouldn't take a steak from the freezer and put it right on the grill, it, you've, gotta have, you've, gotta, you've gotta be willing to invest the time to allow it to thaw. You've gotta be willing to invest the time to build that relationship whereby you're also then elevating the trust. Because the moment we had the trust, the moment we had that rapport and that connection, I was able to look at the son and say, this is the time to ignore your father. See, your father's experience of purchasing and selling homes was from 1992 to 1998. We're in a very different market right now. If you deploy, if you utilize the same mindset and the same thinking that your father used from 1992 to 1998, in your home purchase attempt now, you're gonna get steamrolled. And then the father's over there going, a very direct, very military guy, right? Not used to being challenged. Not used to, uh, um, not used to being uh, disagreed with. But because we had that rapport and because the trust had been built, he deferred to the people on the side of the table that had the most experience in this market.